Hello! Today I'm going to show you something cool, and that is a tweet that I put out a few weeks ago, and it is an Android emulator running Google Lens, and the Android emulator can uh, can see what you see in VR, and it can give you live translations. If we walk up to something here, it'll give us this. Very cool. Uh, and I'm going to show you all about how to do that today. So first things first, we need a program called SparkoCam. And SparkoCam is able to record a desktop or an application, whatever, and export it as a webcam. And then that webcam will be detected by Android Studio, which is running an emulator. And it will use that to run whatever kind of augmented reality stuff you want to do. Uh, and then we will display that Android emulator using OVR Toolkit, right? And OVR Toolkit is amazing. It's only $12, but you absolutely should have it. Anybody who has VR should be having an OVR Toolkit. Um, it basically it allows you to view windows in VR, and you can pick them up, move them around. You can um, see your whole desktop. In fact, that's what I'm doing right now. I am using OVR Toolkit in VR, and I do frequently. I... Like, I have, I basically do not use physical monitors anymore. Uh, it's amazing. So, first things first, uh, Spark OCam. Uh, we just need to open up the desktop view. And just got to make it record VR chat that I have running on a different monitor over here. Uh, I would probably recommend having multiple monitors for this. Because otherwise you'd be like, you're, you're recording a monitor. So, you need, you know, if I put... If I put Spark OCam on top of that monitor, or if I, you know, or on top of VR Chat, you know, it's it's a little bit tricky. Um, but then we need to get into settings, and we need to change DirectX to Direct Show. And this is the important bit, which um, if you are going to look for an alternative to Spark OCam, which you certainly might want to, because Spark OCam has a gigantic watermark, and it costs forty dollars. Um, because we don't need, it's $70 if you want Nikon and Canon DSLR support, but we don't need that. So it's, if you don't, it's, it's $40. And, um, so it, and it's a little bit steep for what it is, honestly. Uh, I mean, if you really don't want the watermark and you can't find an alternative, then it's not terrible. But, uh, you know, anyway, um, if you do look for an alternative, you want direct show. And that is something that, um, I did find... Open Broadcaster um, software, OBS, it has a plugin, and that plugin does not do direct show, so it doesn't work. Um, and Android Emulator, um, once you have it installed and everything, um, it's a very simple install. Just run it and choose your pro choose your file path, whatever you want, all that. Uh, once you have it running, we can go into this right here. That is the emulator button. And, of course, we don't need to worry about any of this extra stuff. Because this is all, like, for developing Android apps. But we don't need, to need those. So, create virtual device. And we can choose just a Pixel 2. Um, we want a Play Store. Um, and then, you know, whatever. Default settings. Uh, I really don't think the hardware matters too much. But if you are running into issues, like it's just not working, then maybe you can try different ones. You know? I don't know. It's up to you. Um, then we, we do want Android 10. We're just going to go with default settings again, whatever's most recent. Um, it is possible by the time this video releases, well, not by the time this video releases, I'm going to do it in the next couple days, but, uh, eventually they might come out with new Android versions. Um, and you're welcome to try like the pre-release stuff because that's, because this is a developer thing. So they're going to give you pre-release stuff that's not actually available on any phones. Um, so, and this inter whole interface might change. I, I've seen it change at least twice since I've even, since I was doing this stuff like a few weeks ago. So, um, if you're running into any issues with this whole interface, um, just try defaults. And if it doesn't work, try something else. Just, that's just error, trial and error. Um, and one of those trial and error things that I found was um, that you don't want x86-64. Um it's just not compatible with the camera emulator for some reason. I don't know. Um, at least this particular build of Android 10 x86-64. I don't know. Um, so we're just, we're just going to go with x86. And 
then I'm going to disable the device frame because it'll show up better in OBR Toolkit. And we can go to Advanced Settings and change the back camera to Webcam 0. And we don't want the front camera because the front camera gets uh, inverted horizontally. Um, which I think, actually I think Google Lens might be able to handle inverted images because it doesn't care. Um, but obviously that's not what we want. So anyway, uh, Webcam 0. And another issue that I've ran into is that sometimes this Webcam 0 will detect my um, headset. Uh, camera, which I can't seem to reproduce that anymore. Now that I fixed it once, then like I, well, okay, if you get it, just go into your device manager and disable that device. For Valve Index, it's Etron Video. I, I don't know why. Probably the company that made it or something. Um, for other headset or for other cameras, um, you know, you just gotta find them and disable them. And then, even then, I've re-enabled them, and I can I have full functionality of it, and it still doesn't grab it, so, I don't know. It's weird, just something to be aware of. Um, but once we have it up, we just want to hit play. And we got to give it a minute to start up. And it started up over on my other monitor. And this whole, especially the first time setup, is going to take a while, so I'm just going to fast forward through a few of this. All right, once we have it set up, uh, we are not quite ready to go yet. So we just gotta make sure that we get through all of our first time setup notifications. It's got a whole bunch of stuff it wants to run through. So I'll fast forward again. All right, perfect. And there is one more little thing that we need to go through. Um, do not forget this kind of stuff because apps don't necessarily work properly. Um, if you haven't finished this step, All right, perfect. And the finishing touches, just a second. All right, now we are ready to go. Cool. So we could use the Android Play Store, or the Google Play Store. Um, I'm not going to though, because just for the sake of this video and I don't want to log in and everything, um, we're going to instead use um, a raw Android APK. Um, which, if you don't know how to install Android APKs, it's very easy. Um, especially because there's a really cool website that just hosts everything for it for us. So we just need Google Lens APK. And wait, what? How did that? Uh, okay. Um, I'm not sure how that happened. <laughs> um, yeah, Google Lens APK is APK mirror. All right, and we just got to scroll down, get the download link. It's got a whole bunch of uh, pages to go through. Uh, and also, we are not running the 64-bit version, so we do not want 64. Just want the regular one. And download APK. And then we just gotta go into settings and un allow unknown sources. And then we can come back and install. Perfect. And open. And then, since I already have SparkoCam running, it should see it immediately. There we go. I'm just going to flip it sideways. There we go. And if I walk up to something, let's see. Okay. So I have had this happen a couple times uh, before. So let's just restart the app. Sometimes we might even need to restart the emulator, but usually just the app is a low, is plenty. That'll do it. Um, let's see. Is it going to do it? Hmm. Let's try closing all apps. And this is the troubleshooting stuff that you need to do. Usually just, <laughs> just keep running again. 
if you're running into any issues. There we go. That's all it needs. Perfect. Um, so as you can see, it is now translating live. And we don't... Um, if you have a... Um, yeah. There we go. See that? And we can also go to someone over here. And especially if the text is small or it is really low contrast, um, it helps to click this little translate button and that will freeze it. And now um, it'll give it a little bit more time to process that image specifically instead of doing a live thing. Um, especially if I come out over here and I think, yeah, some of this text, if it's like really hard to see, oh, yeah, no, see, it's still got it. Um, if I did the translate button, but if I do like a live translate, it might not. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes tilting your set head a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Um. But uh, yeah. So that's that. And now I'm going to move this over to my other monitor, and I need to go into Steam VR and display VR view. And there we are. And this is actually the view that I've had the whole time. Um, and I can toggle it on and off, and like I, I literally do not have. Well, yeah, I I don't have physical monitors anymore. I use this, and it's amazing, um, because I can take it anywhere in any VR chat world or VR game, anything. Um, but what we need to do is open up a hand desktop window, and I already have it. Um, I think pointed to that monitor, so I just need to change it to Android emulator. There we go. And I can move it around. I can put it on my hand like this. I can put it on my wrist like this. This is kind of, I, I've tried a few different positions. Um, you can attach it to your head, to your right hand, to your left hand, whatever. Um, I've tried a few different, um, a few different things and uh, I kind of like this way. And so, yeah, we can, we have it all set up, right? Um, and it's worth noting that, um, you can do a lot more than just Google Lens, right? Oh, hey, perfect example of that. Let's see if it's going to give it. Uh, come on. Yeah. Yeah, and and sometimes it doesn't, it, you know, it doesn't always get it, especially if, ah, uh, there we go. Yeah, office, station office. Um, Especially if it's, like, really complicated text or low-resolution text, like, I bet, a native speaker would probably be able to make this out, maybe, but oof, that's that would be really difficult for this. It might not even recognize that it is text in the first place. Yeah, no, it's yeah. But, you know, if you give it the benefit of the doubt, give it a clear solid color text on a clear solid color background, it will nail it. Um if it has like outline stuff like this, uh I've seen it have troubles with this, but um it's still clear enough that it can get it. It can get it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So um, thanks for watching, and good luck. Um, and see if you can get this running before Virtual Market Three, which is coming up. Um, let's see. Today it is um, the fifteenth, and it's going to be on the twenty-first. So I'll get this video up, and um, you'll be able to. Have it running by then. Good luck.